With the addition of Mountaintop and Midnight Coup to the Onslaught Loot Pool, there's even more incentive to run the Onslaught mode on Legend to get those double drops. Today, I'm featuring a build that allows you to easily farm the first 10 waves of Legend mode, which is the best way to get those drops as fast as possible. You get tons of grenade ability energy and can supply that energy to your teammates using Verity's Brow, a classic Warlock exotic. The build is right here. Let me swap over for you and let you check out the mods. The highlights here are going to be the impact induction mod on your arms, a double harmonic siphon here, as well as a powerful attraction mod on your class item, letting you use your class ability to pick up orbs of power in a large radius. These all will work in tandem here with our subclass. Now this everyone is the classic double restoration heat rises, and radiant warlock build. These fragments you're going to want to take are Ember of Solace, Ember of Benevolence, which we'll talk about, Ember of Torches, and Ember of Empyrean. This build here is actually season 23 proof as well. Without any of the artifact mods from this season, this build will give you double restoration, radiant, as well as heat rises at all times. Now we need to talk about Ember of Benevolence because this is interesting. This is as applying Cure, Restoration, or Radiant to allies grants increased grenade, melee, and class ability regeneration for a short duration. Very, very strong, and you'll get chunks of ability energy rolling up when you get this active. And there's very many ways in the subclass and with weapons to proc this. One way is going to be Phoenix Dive. It states here it cures nearby allies, which will proc Ember of Benevolence. This is one way, and then as well as your weapons can proc it. So Ember of Benevolence here is very important, and I think it's slept on on some builds because of that minus 10 discipline, but it really does help. Now moving on to Verity's Brow. This is the exotic of choice. The armor perk is the fourth magic. Weapon final blows with the damage type matching your subclass energy grant death throws, which provide a grenade damage bonus and grants you grenade energy. When you have death throws and throw a grenade, nearby allies gain greatly increased grenade regeneration for a short time. This is a very very old year one destiny one exotic and it's been tried and true on a lot of warlocks for that reason. Giving you tons of grenade energy once you get death throws up to 5 stacks. Throwing that grenade at 5 stacks grants it unbelievable amounts of damage, letting you really annihilate whatever you throw it at. And with the build in our subclass as well as our weapons, we'll be regenerating that grenade as fast as possible. That's why we chose all these mods. Going back into them, you're going to want to get Orbs of Power to proc double innervations here, which grants you increased grenade cooldown when you pick up an Orb of Power. Phoenix Diving will grab you those Orbs of Power, as well as grant you your Solar Weapon Surge, and we're generating those Orbs of Power with our Harmonic Siphon. Next, an Impact Induction. Causing damage with a powered melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown as well. And, as you saw in the subclass, Heat Rises, when it's active, grants grenade energy, letting you just sling out incinerator snaps that are fully charged, giving you increased grenade energy to charge a OP fusion grenade over and over and over again, faster than the times five stack of our exotic helmet. Very, very strong. And this opens up all of your weapons to you. Now, there are a few options. You can use a heal clip weapon to proc Ember of Benevolence even more often. And that's definitely an option. But in a harder activity like Legend Onslaught, Sunshot, to be honest, everyone completely carries. Until they nerf or change this weapon, it's the solar weapon of choice for any solar build. So I'm using it here. Sunshot, as well as a strong Apex Predator, and the newest addition, Mountaintop, with auto-loading and recombination. We'll be doing a video on this one later. But here's the whole build, very, very simple. The weapons are up to you, solar weapons of choice, obviously, and the artifact here will definitely boost it even more. You're going to want to take Kindling Trigger, which states Radiant causes solar weapons to apply Scorch, Blast Radius, which will give you armor charges for rapid rocket launcher final blows, 
Flint Striker, which will give you Radiant on Precision Hits and Solar Weapon Final Blows. Next up, Revitalizing Blast, which will debuff champions and bosses when you hit them with a Solar ability. You're going to want Overload Rocket Launchers, just another way to hit those champions. Rays of Precision, which states while Radiant Solar Precision Final Blows cause combatants to ignite. And lastly, Argent Ordinance, which will overcharge your rocket when you have an armor charge consuming the stack, but letting you blitz down a champion or a boss when you need to. This combination of perks and artifacts you see here on screen really help out, and I think this is the best combination for this extremely long, but almost over, Season 23. That's why I said I really wanted this build to be Season 23 proof, lasting long throughout whenever this extremely OP season of artifacts goes away. And this subclass will do it right here. Good work, Guardian. Your light is strong. Guardian down.
impressive, Guardian. You have an instinct for battle. Execute all targets, and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. Once you get your time 5 stacks of death throws going, and you start giving feed the flames out to your teammates, this build really gets going. The buffs are rolling off your screen and you can't even keep track of them anymore. Thank goodness Bungie's adding the HUD update and the UI change to increase the buffs coming soon, and we'll finally be able to see how effective this build truly is. But this is what I think is the easiest way to blitz through those first 10 waves, farm out the double drops, and get all of these brave arsenal weapons we've been looking for, more specifically the shiny double drops. Now I'll be going over some of those weapons in videos coming soon, so if you want to see those, click that bell icon and you'll see the videos when they go live. And as always, share the channel and video with your friends, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you all for checking out this video on a very very easy farm method for 10 wave legend onslaught. This Warlock build is super, super free, overcharging your grenade and your teammates' grenades, just letting you annihilate the waves, go in and out, and farm as efficiently as possible. Thank you all for watching, and again, I'll see you around.